In this video, I want to show you a few simple forms of navigating through the sample. Um, some of them we've already discussed, which is when you do AI Sample Finder, you can move wherever you want in the sample by double clicking. And this representation of the stage will move there and you will see the results. So for example, if I double click on this and then I go to live, I will be at that position. Um, similarly, we can drag this box to go wherever we want. There are other ways though that we can move. Um, one is by deflecting the joystick. So if we move the joystick with the little, um, with the little stick, we can go um, wherever we want. Um, this is usually not the most effective way of doing things. It's much easier to drag this or click because you can tell uh, much more easily where you're going. The other category of movements we can make is in uh, within the sort of the image itself. So within the image, you can do several things. If you double click on any part of the image, it will center wherever you double clicked in the middle of the field of view. So for example, if we wanted to center this object, we can double click here and that will go to the middle. Furthermore, we can hover near the edge. And if we hover at this distance from the edge, for example, on the left side, you see this wide, uh, slightly blue block, if we click on it, it will move by half a field over in that direction. Uh, the same is true of all uh, sides and even the corners um, of the image. Um, but if we hover even closer to the edge of the field of view, where we can see um, a sort of darker uh, strip embedded on that lighter blue strip, if we click on that, it will move an entire field over. Uh, and that, again, is also true for all um, the sides. So for example, if we click all the way in this left-hand corner, uh, this will move where it is now to something that is a, a sort of non-overlapping and down diagonally. So you'll see if I click here, it goes there. Um, so the combination of using this, uh, double-clicking to do fine-tuning or even tuning on the edges, I think with that, you can uh, mostly navigate uh, throughout the sample very effectively. And you also have the ability, if you want to, uh, to move the joystick, though that really is uh, mostly useful when you're looking by eye.